Hi and welcome to Thursdays at 3. I am Jen White and I am your productivity coach helping you prioritize, organize, and simplify your life. So today in, um, or this week rather, in my blog, I continued kind of the conversation I started last week which was really around who is writing your story. Are you writing your story or are you letting someone else write your story? And I continue that on this week um, with kind of breaking it down into sometimes we live in our past successes and our past failures. And both of those can, can keep us stuck and keep us in, in, a, in a static state because we either don't want to recreate something or we don't know how to recreate something. So in the blog this week, and I'll put in the comments, I'll put the link to that, I share um, how to identify that and just some kind of questions around what that looks like as far as breaking that pattern and how to really be in the moment and be future-minded at the same time. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about it because for me, I have wasted years and years and years. <laughs> and it's not exaggeration, of my life um, being stuck in the past. I'm not proud of that, but it really is a reality and why this is such a passionate thing for me to talk about because I was so fixated on things that had happened to me, how I felt I was treated. I wrote a story about how, you know, there's all these things, right? I would write these stories and I would feel rejected even maybe I wasn't maybe there wasn't a rejection there or and I'm being super super honest uh, but this was me I was so insecure and I wasn't confident and I felt hurt and so I let that hurt really dictate to me how I was gonna live my life and so that's why I'm so passionate about this and I shared last week a quote about um, who is, it was a quote really around who is writing your story. And I knew in that moment that I had let all these things and all the ways that I had crafted these scenarios and real things and real hurts that had happened to me as well. It wasn't just stuff that I, I made up or thought had to happen. There were some real things wove in and I had such a distrust that, again, this was writing my story. It wasn't allowing me to even dream about a possible future. It wasn't, I myself wasn't allowing myself, that sounds strange, but I wasn't allowing growth to happen in my life because of fear, because of past hurts, because of what I thought would happen. So I want to change that. I'm so passionate about that for you, for anyone who watches this. Uh, it's just, again, something I, I am really wanting to see change for people because it can really hold us back and it can really um, make it harder to do things on a day to day. And I'll get to that more at the end, but what I thought I would do, because quotes are such an integral part of me and the way that I think, I love to read quotes. I have a journal that I keep just on quotes because I find them inspiring, I find them interesting. I love that someone famous somewhere said something that I was thinking too, or that they went through something I went through. And so I keep record of that as inspiration, as um, just a way when I'm feeling down or when I need to lift up in something, I have them categorized. And then, you know, I can read through them and kind of refresh and renew. Uh, the energy around something. So I have a few quotes I wanted to read. Uh, and if you like, if you'd like to know any of the quotes, uh, leave it in the comments and I will give you the name of the person that wrote it and I'll, I can drop them all in there. It's not a problem. So let me just start reading through. Renew, release, let go. Yesterday is gone. There's nothing you can do to bring it back. You can't, should have done something. You can only do something. Renew yourself, release that attachment. Today is a new day. Love that, renew yourself, release that attachment. When we start closing the door on the past and recognizing that it there was hurt there, there's something, and walk out forgiveness or, or realize that you can rewrite the story or 
when we start to be able to walk through those things, and for me it was rewriting who I thought I was. So I started writing daily affirmations and I still use them today. Um, I go through one a day that I just meditate on because I want to make sure that that is renewing in me. Uh, but again, that's part of renewing ourself and letting go. Um, here's the next one. When one door closes, another door opens. But we so often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the ones which open for us. That is so, it's been so true of my life that again, stood staring at that door, that closed door with feelings of disappointment or regret, or if it was a success, feelings of excitement, but then fear of the next success, because that's a very real thing too. We can be afraid we can be afraid of failing, but we can also be afraid of succeeding, succeeding, and that will hold us back just as much as the fear of failure. The next one is hanging on to resentment is letting someone you despise live rent free in your head. I love that because sometimes we can get angry or, you know, have something happen and it just kind of lives right in our head. But again, think of it, you're giving that person that space, you're giving that situation, that space in your head. And when I talk about brain dumping, it's one of those things that when we clear our mind and kind of put everything out on paper so it's not, there's, um, we're not continually depositing thoughts and ideas into our head, we're actually able to be more productive because we can flow through things. We don't have all these things rattling around in our head as it were. Um, I hope I'm not chicken the camera. I just looked at it so I get super excited and I'm like all over the place. Um, next one. Uh, in order to be free, we must learn to let go. I love that. I definitely want to be free. When you understand that what you're telling is just a story, it isn't happening anymore. When you realize the story you're telling is just words, when you can just crumple up and throw your past in the trash can, then we'll figure out who you're going to be. Think of that. I've actually written down my stories, how I saw them happening. And again, everything we feel, everything we do, it, or that happens to us in life, it's all filtered through us. So again, it is, it's a story that we're writing, but who's holding the pen, which is what all this is all about. But when you realize that you can write it all out and then you can toss it away. I've actually written letters um, to people that I never sent because I needed to get the junk out. I needed to let go. I needed to think about what I was doing or what had happened and what was said. And I needed to see it in a paper. And then I needed to acknowledge that I felt pain about it. And then I could simply crumple it up and I lit it on fire and it was so liberating and it released in me the ability to be clearly focused, to get more done, to achieve things. Um, I don't think I could have ever achieved my master's degree. I've even started my own business if I hadn't had those opportunities to really let go of what, you know, of all those things that happened. Last quote, and this is one of my favorites because it's Lewis Carroll. It's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person then. And I love Alice in Wonderland because it simplifies, um, even though it can be a very complicated story, it simplifies that some things, things are not what we perceive. And really why go back to yesterday because you're not that same person. So take heart that all of this is within your ability to let go. It was within my ability to let go and to move forward. And one of the things I have written in my notes is to explain how does this, what does this have to do with productivity and time management? If you were with me live and halfway through, you're like, what is this got to do with, you know, hacks to make me better at getting things done, right? It's really all tied together. And when I coach, on, on time management, on productivity, on systems and habits, 
I really dig into your mindset. How are you thinking about how you get things done? And oftentimes it's tied to, there's roots in our life that are holding us back because of thinking. And it could show up in our words like, I can't do this, or this always takes me way too long. I used to say that to myself all the time. I can't do this, I don't have time for this. I'm not good at this. Why did I think I could do this? I feel like a fraud. I feel like, I feel like, you know, it could go on and on and on. And it could cause us to just sit there and not do the thing because we're stuck. We're stuck in our own thinking because it's tied to something that happened in our past. Like I've had people say, you're never gonna amount to anything. Why bother trying? And part of me welled up and said, all right, you know, and I was in high school when that happened and I wanted, <laughs> I could cry for sure. And part of it made me rise up and say, I'm gonna prove them wrong, but that's not a really good motivator either. We should always be working through the things that we need to do, the stuff that we have at hand, the things we need to clean or the books we want to write or the projects on our plate or the activity that we want to plan or the ministry that we want to build. We don't want to tie that to anything that could be leaking in from the past because it makes it so much harder. When you say things, or when I've said things like, this is way too hard, it's because it, it was. I was walking through layers and layers and layers of pain and frustration and fear of what if I make a mistake, but what if I succeed? Success to me was just as scary as failure. So that's a hot soup. And you know, <laughs> and if you're watching this, you probably think, wow, Lots of issues. I actually saw a t-shirt uh, yesterday that said, I have more issues than Vogue. And I thought that was like cracking me up because yeah, sure, I have more issues than Vogue and my life is a beautiful mess, but I'm living it and I'm achieving things and I'm making things happen and I'm walking out my goals and I'm loving every minute of it. And I want the same for you. So again, when I talk about these things, these mindset issues and who's writing your story, I personally just would like to see you rise up and say, okay, maybe I haven't had this and maybe I'm not carrying this around, but there's this one little thing that every time I take, pick up a pen or open my computer to write a blog or to write a chapter of a book, I get full of fear or I get or something think about what are you what is that feeling are you excited can you not wait to get the words out or do you not even want to open your computer because there might be something there that's standing in between you and the keyboard and I'm not talking about in a physical sense um, I'm talking about in, in our past Who's right? Who has been writing your story? I want to challenge you today to pick up your pen, to let go of the past and create a better future. Because if you change the story, you change the outcome. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Because how many times, if something bad has happened to us, has that changed the outcome? We don't have to let anything. And last week on my live, I felt like I rambled on a little bit, just trying to get this point across. But when things happen unexpectedly, or bad stuff happens, or good stuff happens, or someone walks through the door, or, you know, my dog runs down to the street and I end up in the hospital, that happened to me. Actually, what do I do with that? Can I write a story of, you know, every single time I do this, then this happens? You know, then we sound like Eeyore. Or can we say, all right, this happened today, it's happened before, so what can I do to prevent it from happening in the future? And how can I move on past that point? Completely different mindset. One is very active, the other is very passive. So please, today, go have a great and productive day. Thank you for joining me. If you were on here live, please say hi. If you have watched the replay, please say hi. I'd love to just see 
that you enjoy the content, didn't enjoy the content, did you like the quotes, do you want to see more of the quotes, I can cut and paste. And I hope that you have a great and fantastic rest of your week and a fabulous weekend. Bye.